Hello everybody, my name is Ralph Meyerwent. I'm a marketing director for passive components here at Samsung Electromechanics. Today, we will be talking about the basics of multi-layer ceramic capacitors or MLCCs for short. We will be releasing this kind of training material continuously, so please stay tuned for further updates in the near future. First, we're going to take a look at the basic structure of MLCCs. Then, we're going to talk about their characteristics. And finally, we're going to be reviewing the manufacturing process of MLCCs. First of all, let's review the MLCC structure and how a capacitance value is comprised. An MLCC consists of three parts. An MLCC is made up of an external termination, dielectric layers, and inner electrode. The external termination makes contact with circuits and delivers electrons to the inner electrode. Capacitance value is created by stacking inner electrodes and dielectric layers. Because more functions are being added to electronic devices, high capacitance MLCC demand is increasing. To make an MLCC with high capacitance, we need to either increase the number of layers N or increase the area A of the inner electrode. If we increase inner electrode area A, MLCC need to likewise increase in size. However, functional requirements for next generation smartphone and servers is demanding additional compa component usage on BOMs. Because of space limitation, larger size of MLCC becomes hard to use as space on PCB on is limited. Therefore, MLCC demand with smaller case size and with higher capacitance is increasing rapidly. To create a high capacitance value in smaller case sizes, we need to stack a larger number of layers as we need to increase our electrode and dielectric layer. To achieve this, cutting edge technology is required. MLCC characteristics change according to the environment and conditions of use. For example, capacitance value changes at different operating temperatures. We call this TCC. There are suitable MLCCs for each temperature environment. When voltage is applied to an MLCC, capacitance value decreases. We call this DC bias or AC voltage. So when we select an MLCC, we need to consider the voltage being applied. Aging refers to the capacitance value decreasing over time. This is because of the material characteristics, but it can be reversed by applying heat and then the capacitance value can be recovered. BDV is an insulation breakdown by an applied voltage rise. Impedance, Z, and ESR means internal resistance. For additional characteristics, we will explain in another training video. And now, let's take a look at the manufacturing process video. Electronic industry key component, MLCC. How is it made? Must-haves for electronic devices. This is an MLCC which stores electricity by stacking a number of dielectric layers and internal electrodes. MLCCs are used on mobile phones, laptops, PCs, and more. MLCCs are essential components and utilized by hundreds to tens of thousands in products. MLCCs store electrical charges and supply a constant amount of current in the electric circuit, functioning of control like a dam. So how is an MLCC manufactured? Stage one, batch. First, mix dielectric powder and materials uniformly. Make a slurry, a mixture of solid and liquid with a high viscosity. Stage two, casting. In the casting process, the slurry is evenly and thinly coated on the film. Stage three, printing. The internal electrode is printed on the casted sheet. Stage four, stacking. The fourth stage is stacking. Then stack the printed sheets over 600 layers, as many as required. Stage five, laminating. The stacked sheet is called a bar. The laminating process increases the density of the bar. Stage six, cutting. After laminating, the bar with several chips connected together is cut and separated into individual chips. Stage seven, bake out. After cutting, heat treatment is performed to remove the binder component used as glue when making the slurry in the first stage. Stage eight, sintering. To make the dielectric powder and the chip into a single mass, chips are heat treated at high temperatures. Electrical properties can be obtained with the heat treatment. Stage nine, tumbling. For a good connection with the external electrode, the ceramic chips are placed in rotating barrels. Then the sharp edges can be rounded. Stage 10, termination. 
To form external electrodes on the chip, electrode materials are dispositioned on both ends of the chip. Stage 11, termination, centering. To obtain electrical properties of the dispositioned external electrodes, heat treatment is applied once again at high temperature. Stage 12, plating. This is the process of making a plating layer so that MLCC can easily stick to the actual substrate. Stage 13, inspection. This is a process to check whether ceramic chips are good or bad. Make sure that the electricity is working well and there are no broken parts. Stage 14, taping. After visual inspection, good quality products are packed through the taping process, delivered to customers with real packing. Mix, apply, print, stack, press, cut, bake. Bake once more, grind and polish, then apply, bake again, and plate. While following the steps one by one, MLCC is completed. The manufacturing process of MLCC is not as difficult as you thought, isn't it? Today and tomorrow, together with thousands to tens of thousands of MLCCs, Samsung Electromechanics leads the way.